schools are. How y'all, how y'all doing? This is the round table. We got people from all across the country, from all different walks of life, and we about to talk about some shit. So I'm Archie Red, the Kool-Aid man, instigator, commentator, all that good shit. How you doing? Hey. What up, yo? <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Let my bad. No, nope, I fucked up. My bad. Let's introduce everybody right here. Let's go around and everybody introduce themselves. My bad. I'm just sitting there like, uh, no, bro, you got a fucking job to do. Do it. You had one job, bro. All right. Uh, who's going first? I, you. I am okay. Here is the story, and my name is D Burns. Awesome. I am Lacey, Lacey Media Productions. Uh, I do reactions and uh compilation videos i'm and deadhead makeup and i run the bitter betty podcast with lacy and your fits in a meter i'm carol uh bitter betty carol that's with an e um and uh we're here from the bitter better betty or betty podcast and i don't do take two watch <laughs> yeah. the channel. so uh here we are yep i am amy from amy kins forever Reaction video channel. <laughs> Extraordinaire. Uh, I'm a reactor. I'm a reactor. My name is Brent. Uh, Pastor Brent reacts is my channel. Good to Ooh. go. Good to go. Good to I should have said about mine. I'm also a reaction channel. <laughs> I, I do want to say I, I want to give a give a shout out to all of y'all though, especially like just uh not just everybody coming together but i mean I, it was on pretty short notice when we all yeah. came in through this together yeah. and i know all of us are doing things with our channels like all of us we have something going on so for everybody to really take the time to actually stop down and come together for this for us to do this i just wanted to say i appreciate y'all and thank y'all oh yeah you. it's gonna be yeah. Yeah. shout it's out fun. to gimmickless he just couldn't be here today yeah yeah, yes, hell yeah. Shout out to Gimmick List, man. And you know what? Even more shout outs to him because what I love nowadays that I can say versus growing up is nowadays you see a whole lot more like men being there for their kids. You know, yes, growing up, yeah, you no, did not good. see no. that a yeah, lot. Yeah, and yeah. nowadays it's a lot more common to actually see fathers there, whether yeah. they're with the mom or not. So right. super yeah. big shout out yeah. to homie because, hey, yes. Kids come first, man, for sure. Yeah. I feel yeah. that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. yeah, he's yeah. spending time with his first. kid tonight. So yeah. 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 And well, and I know you'd be taking care of your kids too, man. So shout out to you. Yeah. Yeah. We, oh, just we just heard that. We just heard that. Yeah. Well, every yeah. kid needs a, a, a strong a bathroom break. Strong parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a break. Definitely a break. <laughs> you gotta go when you gotta go, you know? That's right. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. But handling so shout out business. All, to all the people handling their business out there taking care of your kids. Yes. Good shit. Yeah. Nah, for real, yeah, for real. Seriously. But hey, I want to go ahead and get it. I want to go ahead and get into it. Cause as y'all, <laughs> as y'all see here, like I said earlier, we got people from all different <laughs> walks of life here. What I want something real quick. Let's go around starting with uh I want to start with Carol and then I'll go around. Where is like where like as far as where you're located? Carol, where are you located? State. I am located in Ohio. Ohio. Oh, okay, cool. Uh -oh. D, where are you located? I am located in Cudahy, Wisconsin. I am literally on Lake Michigan. Oh, freaking oh, nice. awesome. That's badass. Go, Pat, nice. go. Go, Pat, go. <laughs> Good shit. Lacey, oh, where, you from? where are you located? What state? I am from Central Texas, also known as the heart of Texas. And the fucking Texas. right. That's what I'm talking about. Deadhead, where are you located? Southeast Texas. Southeast oh. Texas, fucking right. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> 903 ended up in this bitch. Brent, where are yeah. you located, my man? Uh, Portland, Oregon, otherwise known as um, Liberal Oregon. Oh, Portland, <laughs> Oregon. Actually, my boy's going out there to freaking do a show yeah, yeah, out yeah. there. He's going to be in Oregon. Uh, He's actually awesome. going to be out in Eugene. Oh, nice. About 100 miles south, about an hour and a half or so. <laughs> oh, okay. So right. you're about going to be about an hour and a half away, bro. Okay. Yeah. okay, good shit. And Amy. I was, I'm, I'm assuming because y'all are y'all same location, right? <laughs> it well, depends on the yeah, day. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm from every conservative's favorite city, Portland. Portland, Oregon. <laughs> oh, I love that it so much. Too... Oh, man. <laughs> hey, 
it's been a while. It's been an off day, y'all. I'm a little bit under the influence, so y'all just bear with me if I ask. <laughs> where, where, yeah, where are you from? Yeah, where are you from? Yeah, where are you from? Oh, oh, Texas, <laughs> Texas for sure. Texas yeah, for sure. Really so it looks like we. Stuff. It looks like I and I didn't do this on purpose, but I just realized I have all of the Texas people. With, like when y'all go back and see my video, like all yeah. three of us are lined up. <laughs> like all three of us are lined up. So, like man, I them damn it. Texans always uh, think they're better than everybody. Yeah. Always trying to separate and shit. <laughs> Lacey's bull. Yeah, where, where you from? Where you from? Where you from? Huh? Yeah, where you from, man? Where am I? I'm from Texas. We're all from Texas. Oh yeah. Oh me. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm. Uh. Well, I was born in East Texas. But I've lived in Dallas most of my life, so that's where I like to really claim things. So the, 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 Dallas is home for me. I like to be able to do stuff when I have money. You know, I have a cousin yeah, right? who lives over there and uh, over there by Dallas. She used to work for Wolfgang Puck. Oh, oh, cool. oh snap! Cool. Shout out, Steely. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the middle of everything. <laughs> that's the thing though texas is so freaking big though it takes like 10 hours just to get out this motherfucker that's like well dude, yeah. it's it's no it, it's that's wild but it's, um it's like, so, i think it's 16 hours across like yeah. total so depending on where you're at in texas it could take forever just to get oh, out of this place yeah, we went on, you said so it's 16 total yeah, uh, across uh, from the longest point. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. So from dang, that means where it's I live. Oh, from where I live, we we drove all the way up through Texas to get to New Mexico, and it took us, I think, twelve hours. Yeah, and that's just from like, where I'm crazy. from. Crazy, and like once you get yeah. out of Texas, you start breezing through stuff. But it's like we're I'm big in the as middle. hell. I see I'm a lot of oil Texas money. It took me. I got it took question. me eight hours to get to New Mexico. I grew up in California, born there. I could go through go Texas in like 15 minutes. Go That's ahead, Karen. <laughs> so, um, can I be an honorary Texan? I lived there when I was like four for like, uh, you know, like a whole year. And you're coming yeah. back in September. Yeah. Oh. I'm coming in September. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because that's enough isolation. for you to know what real barbecue is, which we're going to get to later. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good shit. I'll stand up. But uh, one thing I want to talk about, though, first is that I've noticed I've checked out um, all of you guys' channel. Y'all do great work, by the way. But I've one thing that's really stuck out to me is that y'all do y'all do hip hop content and y'all do a good variety of hip hop content. So I really want I really want your take, because, I mean, I, it's easy for me to have, you yeah, know, my no but... my stance. But at the end of the day. You know, we're just gonna keep your Kool Aid. I'm not white, and so I want to know, like, what is it like? What is it? What What's it like being a white fan in hip hop? We hear it in like Tom's music, Adam's music, and stuff yeah. like that about the things that you guys and gals deal with on a daily basis. But I want, like, I I really want to get to it. How do you How do you all feel like being white fans in hip hop? Lacey. There's a Me? subject that we could really go on about this one. There's somebody yeah. we could talk about oh. with this one. <laughs> oh, let's go there. Go All there, the obviously. juice. No diddy. Well, I mean, well, so from my perspective, and we we I'm just fine. kind of touched on this before, but it's like, uh, you know, for me, it, I I grew up listening to hip hop like from a young age, but like I grew up in like the '90s and uh, the '80s and the '90s and hip hop has really drastically changed for me since then where it used to just be like fun and it, it covered a lot of different things you know I like I, I grew up listening to like Tupac and stuff and that's kind of when I got into more of like I don't know if you would call it like gangster rap or whatever but as much as I love the music <clears throat> now I can go back and listen to the bars and I understand a lot more of it but like I didn't relate to it because I didn't really I didn't I didn't live that life so I didn't know really what they were talking about and now that I have a better idea I kind of do but um I think, you know, a lot of times the music, the hip hop music I gravitate towards is the music that I can relate to the most or that maybe I grew up listening to in the club. And there's different, you know, categories of hip hop that I enjoy. The right. one that really bothers me, though, is that as a white person, especially in the like the culture today, the climate today, um, socially, like 
you know, a lot of rap music, like a lot of it has the N word in there a lot, mm -hmm. all the time. And then I find myself like, it makes me feel very uncomfortable. And so mm -hmm. then I'm censoring myself on those words. And then I just sound like I have Tourette's while I'm singing. Yeah, because right? you can't say and, everything. It's like, regardless, right, you know, you're walking then, around as the radio version of the yeah, song and like, in yeah, real life. Point where I like sometimes at the gym, like there's certain songs I just not going to sing because I can't not do it because there's so many of them in there that otherwise it <laughs> just, like, you know, don't make no damn sense. And so right. it's just to me, but, and I don't like that word anyway, so I don't really gravitate towards right. that music. So I, a lot of it is, you know, is subjective, but, um, but overall, I just, I hate that it, there's, there seems to be this kind of like separation between white and black within the community. Like a lot of, you know, people hate on, like, if it's a white rapper, they don't like their content, all of a sudden they're mm -hmm. culture vulture, uh, right. just because yeah. they're white, That's but if it's somebody, I know, Carol brought it up, and I thought that was such an amazing point, because it, it is true, I, I, I really didn't even notice it until she said that earlier, when we were talking about Tom and stuff, that, you know, other people say, well, I, well, one of my white, you know, one of my favorite rappers is white, but like, so, but because he agrees with the content, then, then that person's not a culture vulture, even though he's white. It's just the white rappers that he doesn't agree with their content that he feels that way. So like, I kind of hate that part of it, but overall, I mean, I fucking love, like, I love rap and hip hop because I think lyricism is, is just, it's super cool mm -hmm. that the doubles and triples and like how they piece together words and have all these intricate rhymes within words. You always think about rhyming at the end of a word, like a poem or something, but they're rhyming syllables within words that don't actually rhyme, but then they rhyme all of a sudden. And I think that is so fucking cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I hate that it always has to come down to being white or black and it can't just be about being talented. No, so. yeah, I and I completely, I completely agree with that. And for me, like I've always been on the other side of that, just because of how I grew up. So I grew up defending that side a lot, and it was weird because the times that I was living in the suburbs defending that side, then it was like oh, well, you're too black when you're in the suburbs. But then when I would go, when I would be in the hood or I would be in the country or something like that, yeah. then now I'm too white for the stance. You see what I'm saying? You see what yeah. I'm saying? And yeah. at the at the end of the day, and I, I, pre, I, pre, I preach this all the time, it just get to the just get to the content itself. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Like if if the first thing you do is look to the color of something, all right, then we already prop most likely don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, no, no, that was my take on that. No, that and that was a that that was that was a that was a good take, and I completely respect that for sure, for sure. Now, see, with me, um, I am that person that doesn't give two shits if the n word <laughs> is every other second in a song. I don't really? care. I'm bumping it. I'm loud. I'm proud. I don't give a fuck. I like a lot of gangster rap. I like even mumble rap. I like lyricism. I like it all. I like yeah. the genre a lot. Am I a bar breakdown person? Hell no. I don't know all this double entendres. It, it just sounds good. If it sounds good and the beat is good, yeah. then I like it. Yeah. Like, that's how I am. I don't Real give a shit. shit about rhyming schemes and this and that. I don't know what all that means. I'm trying to learn it, right? We've talked yeah. about it a little bit in the Discord. I'm trying to understand it, just making me absorb it a little bit better because Lacey's right. taking the time to understand a little bit more. But I, if I like it, I like it. I don't care if you're white, black, brown. I don't. I don't care. And I've never had a problem. So I, where I grew up and where I basically met, we were just actually talking about this. So yeah. I grew up very diverse, but um, like my high school, predominantly black. So guess what? A lot of my friends are what? Black. Most likely and black. Stereotype, you know, it looks like, you know, you listen to a lot of hip hop. So my friends, I, I never did because it just had a respect, but they don't give a shit. If I'm rapping along with my friends and the N words drop, they don't give a shit. They don't care. It's a song. It's just a song. Until we can get past the fact that it's just a song and we're yeah. singing a song. That's just like with, with my parents. If it was in the song, I could say the cuss word because it's in a song. Like, I'm not going around being belligerent. I'm not calling somebody else the N-word. I'm not being derogatory. It's the song. So I think yeah. a lot of people need to relax. Yeah. When oh no, I'm def just relax. I'm definitely with you on that. And that's something that we even us in the black community talk about though. It's like sometimes it's like we do, we feel for y'all sometimes. Cause it's like, dang, bro, like your intro got it, your verse got it, your hook got it. Which part can they sing? And I think yeah. a lot of times black people also try to, well, not just black people, like black, well, black people and hardcore hip hop fans try to like 
sound like they're smarter than the next. You know what I mean? So when you start talking, they start talking about like a lot of the, you know, the cadence and how people flip bars and, you know, the double entendres and things like that. And personally, while that's cool, I got to be real. I'm not always in the mood for that. Sometimes yeah. I just want to go in and ride. I'm not always trying to think about, you know what I'm saying? Some yeah. fucking philosophy, scientific <laughs> report that you done gave me in your 16 that you, I'm not trying to do homework, bro. I'm just trying to get to the gas station so I can get my real lows, get back to the house, play the game and do what I got to do. That, that That's it, you know? And sometimes we try to, you know, mm. prove that, oh, we well, we birthed this. We're smarter. So it's about the it's about the line. It's about the bar. And did you see how they flipped it? That bro, nobody gives a fuck. Like Carol said, does that shit feel good? Because music is spiritual and energy at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if that shit's feel, if it feels good, <laughs> then it did its fucking job. Yeah, because yeah, sometimes I I feel like some of these people are just showing off because they know so much. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. <laughs> Right, yeah. like yeah, stop Amy. the superiority <laughs> complex. I hate that. I hate superiority superiority yeah. complex, motherfucker. Like I can't. I don't just bro. Yeah. I love when people are new to it. Like being able to there. There's a way to go about it. You know what I'm saying? There's a way to go yeah. about it without being condescending, uh, obnoxious, it, know it, it all off. type of. There's just a way to go yeah. about it. Some it's not all reactors that do it. I'm just saying some of them the way they do it though it comes off as like uh watch my skate tr skateboard trick. You know like. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> for sure. For sure. Good, no, I know what I you mean. If I want a good bar breakdown, I'm going to Amy's channel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, if I for want a sure. good yeah. bar breakdown, or as Lacey, yeah. Lacey's yeah. good at it too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it takes me like several listens, and it, and, and, but, and then I understand lyrics and stuff. But like, even for me, if I want a bar breakdown, if I want to see what somebody really thinks about the actual lyrics, I will go to Amy, I'll go to Gimmick yeah. List, I'll go to Knox Hill. Well, thank you. Um, I'll go to Flawed. Uh, you know, there's there's certain people that I will look to. Like, if I want to know more about a video or something, I'm going to go to Joe E. Sparks. Like, I love that dude so much. Uh, he does amazing videos. You know, like, I have reactors for every different thing. Sometimes they're mm -hmm. just feel good reactors. Um, like, you are GF, you're so entertaining i love your fucking edits dude edits are the bomb but like oh it's, yes but you you give me you give me kind of the whole package though because you do yeah. break down some of the bars and you do talk about the the actual lyrics and the meaning and then it's entertainment on top of that so it's like there's yeah. i can find something to appreciate about most channels to be honest like you know d i love your honesty and you just like approach things with such honesty and i love when we do carol and uh you know or when we do our bitter bitty podcast and and melissa and you know, we all have different perspectives, uh, even right. you know, Brent, like we all have different views. And so I love the diversity in that mm -hmm. because I, yeah. I do not want to exist in an echo chamber, even in music, right. not even just right. like a lot of right. not applied to it politically, right. but even in music, you know what I mean? I, I've grown up listening to rock country, hip hop, mm -hmm. uh, there's classical music. I love, like, I just love music in general. I'm a very passionate musical person, uh, but I, but lyrics make or break a song for me uh, a lot of the times, so yeah. you know what I mean? And so if I yeah. can't relate to it in some way, or if it doesn't sound good, if I can't dance to it, you know, then it's probably not going to, you know, but I can find something to like about just about anything, to be honest. Almost yeah, anything. that's me. I'm a pretty positive person. I'll find something that I like. Unless I don't. And if I don't, then there's a big problem because I'm a very positive person. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Well, you hey, guys what's your like me, how, how what's your like what's what's your take because like i said like i mean they they just they yeah. just gave you big big props and i definitely agree I when it you. comes to the like mm -hmm. to the like just the breakdown when it comes to flowers. like lyrics and the songs <laughs> yeah. from beginning to end in the middle and things like that how do you personally feel being a uh being a white fan of hip-hop we know how you feel <laughs> well um so i'll start out where i started listening to it was like run dmc salt and pepper mm -hmm. you know and uh and i lived in los angeles um when you know nwa was there and snoop dogg and dre all them came out and then you had biggie and just go down the list and i just fell in love with right. not necessarily the culture it wasn't the culture it was it was the the relatability and the honesty of the lyrics that mm. really got me i love the honesty that they they just they're you knew where you stood with them you know, uh, yeah. they said what they meant. They meant what they said. And so as a musician myself, I, I lean towards metal and hip hop. I mean, those are my two things. I love metal for the the musicality of it, the technicality of it, the okay. the melodies of it, the, the the sophistication of it. And I love hip hop for the same reason, because lyrically it is like, I mean, I just love lyrics. I love 
finding the triples and the quadruples and the entendres yeah. and all those different things because it's like wow you know it's so brilliant it's so intellectual yeah uh, and it's so smart but it's so relatable mm -hmm. you know and so for me music i go by feel if it feels good i love it and then if the lyrics are there i'm sold i'm just all in and, and you know yeah. and then you see those doubles and i as a musician as a writer i i tend to write and then i i start to hear it it just naturally hear it because i'm constantly writing you know, and I'm like, oh, that's a double. That's a trip. I always do them all the time just to play. Um, and you appreciate got, them too. Like you oh, appreciate, like when you hear, when you hear them, you're just like, damn, bro, that was hella freaking creative because by the time it you is. hear it, you're like, damn, I wish I would have came up with that. Or I feel like yeah. I could have come up with that, but you did it. But it's yeah. just so witty and catchy. You're like, but yeah. it was so simple. You feel like it was there the whole time. Yeah. But it, I don't know. It's just yeah. a bit of appreciation for it. I love it. It's actually interesting because when I was in my band Sugar Tits, which was progressive rock, I always used hip hop as my inspiration to write my songs because the beats were so fire. And I would just like try to play those beats on my guitar and then write a song from it. And I just, it, it got so good that way. And I just love it. Yeah. So yeah. that's my the introduction that's to cool. it. I just that's dope. Love, I love that rhyme schemes and the whole I, thing. It just, you know, it, it, it's, it, yeah, I just got to stuff something to my brain. Okay. I got to point out that she doesn't just stop with that with music. She also analyzes everything I say. <laughs> <laughs> That's her job. True. Words. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I, she's okay. like, what do you mean by that? And I'm like, that's what happens could when be you this, put a ring on it. This, could be that. Was that a double yeah. or triple? What were we really saying? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Slick Rick told me that shit would play out this way. No, no, no. That's not it. <laughs> I, I'm asking you what you want for dinner, not if you want me for dinner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that so much. Oh, you know, I just, good. I was listening to a song the other day. I was editing some stuff and I like, I've listened to this song so often for two years. Okay. And I just now figured out a bar that I didn't even know was like a double. Like, oh, I love that. And it just came to me because of another lyric and another song. And I, but that's what I think is so cool about it is you can listen to the same song for so long. And then all of a sudden it clicks one day and you're like, shut the fuck up. I didn't even think of that. Dang. No, you know, really and that's, I think that's what's so dope about hip hop. I just want to say this as a, as a guest on your program, <laughs> as a guest in the house. No, I really appreciate hip hop. That's it. Uh, can, can, can I say something? Go ahead. Out, of, out of the whole panel here, I'm probably the one that, that doesn't like it. That I probably not okay, keep this wrong. Hip hop isn't my favorite. It's not my go-to. Like it I'm starting to learn to love hip hop more because of our channel, because of the girls. Um I mean, besides like Tupac and and, and Eminem and Dr. Dre, like those are the ones that I listened to growing up, and uh, you know, like Salt and Pepper, of course, and uh, things like that. But like, then I quit about 2016 listening to hip hop. I quit pop. I quit hip hop. I quit all of that because I was I was done with it. Like it all was, pop done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's done. Like, and then I found Tom, and he kind of like someone said in my fans, he kind of restored my faith in hip hop, and. Yeah. I don't know, but then whenever we started this channel, I've gotten to learn to love a lot more hip hop than I thought I would. That's freaking amazing to hear for that real. For awesome. real. And I don't I don't care who's responsible for it. The fact that somebody got you to appreciate it more. I mean, the fact that to me it's like it doesn't even matter like whether it's your go to or not. The fact that it is something like it's a it's a genre that you do appreciate. And mm -hmm. like I feel like all of you have said it like y'all y'all listen to a lot of different genres and y'all real like just the correlation between the two. And I've, I've heard it on your channels before as far as just the correlation between rock music and hip hop and things like that. So, yeah, no, nah, like, that's just so, good shit. Good I literally shit. quit hit listening to Eminem completely. And then when we listened to that new song of his, he restored my faith back into Eminem just a little bit. You know, I can't blame y'all for not listening for a while though, because shit was trash for a while. Go ahead, Brent. Yeah. Nah, he's the guy. <laughs> so you 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 had mentioned um, you know, the rock and hip hop. It's actually interesting. So I went to school for music production, and one of the things that um, we had to, to go through was like history of rock music. And believe it or not, um, rock music, country music, it's all based in roots that were from, I'm going to say Black people. The reality is all music from, from Black people. Mm -hmm. And that's just reality, right? And you know what? You know, I believe you know, that. You know what I love about that, though? 
-hmm. it all comes full it all comes full circle because mm -hmm. when you go to hip when you go to hip hop mm -hmm. like just hip hop's genre specifically the basis of it like the basis of it like you have to think the germans you have to think <laughs> the uh like like see, like the uh like there was a there was ger uh, german uh german music and producers over there you had artists like the um I don't know. You know how you would have bands like the Miracles, the Donovans and stuff like that. The old yeah. black and white type yeah. of doo wop like type Motel. stuff no, and, no, no. and and punk music. Yeah. All of those yeah. like those were the big influences at the beginning, yeah. because when hip hop first yeah. jumped off, that's what they were sampling. That's where they were grabbing yeah. all of you, their sounds from. So, again, watch, like like we're watch. saying, just it's good for race to not be a part of it, because at the yeah. end of the day, that shit comes back full circle. Didn't you watch our you watched our video about how hip hop was found, right? No, that one I haven't I haven't watched yet. Yeah. I'm still I'm still waiting to get to that one. I learned a lot that day. Yeah. So so one of the one of the things that ended up happening, um, you know, I went through I had, I ended up taking music fundamentals like seven times. <laughs> and and then I took a bunch of history classes of rock and then I went into that program. But what one of the things that happened was I had actually joined choir. And I can't sing to save my life. I'm so tone deaf that it's not even funny. Yeah. And Stop playing, Brent. You like Mikey from Recess with it. You like Mikey I'm from Recess you, with man. it. You be hitting them. No. He's, I'm He's telling like Steve you, Urkel. man. Like, like no, <laughs> no joke. I, I, I actually have a, a very funny story. So I was standing next to this guy in choir who had been in choir for eight years. And he couldn't sing next to me. He actually went and told the professor, hey, that guy's got to go. Otherwise, I'm going. Because... Oh. I was singing off and I couldn't hit, I couldn't match pitch. And the only way I was going to pass the class is if I was in the actual choir itself. And we were doing Handel's Messiah. And the only part that was untaken was a rap part. And that was when I discovered that I liked rap and I liked rap being. That's so That's cool. pretty particular. That's so cool. I had, I had actually, you guys don't know this, but I actually sent Archie one of my old tracks that I wrote and I hey. wrapped it. And better buddies want to react. <laughs> let's go it, so i'll tell you i was working at at&t and i recorded it in one shot there's no editing nothing it's just one shot bro and big courage to send that too though like for real for because at first I, I was i was like wait what and then i clicked on it and i was like yo he really sent me this like because for me like as somebody who's like done shows and things like that you learn to appreciate when somebody goes up whether it's good okay mm -hmm. or great you appreciate them for even stepping up there and yeah. to even no. display Having that the, the confidence you know what i'm saying to yeah. get yeah. to get out there and do that so yeah. the <laughs> fact that the fact that he even just sent it i was like you got props before i even heard it brett like i'm just i'm just being real you got props before i had even heard it just because you were bold enough to send it and didn't even really know me like that so uh, i was like hey what, can you listen to this i mean Let's get real. Brent wrote two different rap songs for me. One when he asked me to be his girlfriend and one when he asked me to be his wife. Aww, <laughs> I, I was like, Proud you won me on hip hop. Stand on it, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> At the altar with you. Know, heck yeah. So, uh, so, uh, so you know, what? Rap, rap in general, it's it's really hit me. I mean, I wrote, I wrote a couple songs when I was in a music production school and they were all raps because I can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> he's so, like yo i can't hold the notes i'm about to just spit some bars yeah. i There's mean a, I, yeah. I had a soundcloud for a while i had all that kind of stuff but brent i, I might be hitting you up <laughs> because um, seriously there's a few people that have really made me really learn how to diss rap though <laughs> I don't, I don't want to no, hey, say no. Uh, if he yeah, really wants, I'm telling you. I mean, I mean the if... only type of diss rap that I would do is if it was me dissing Satan. Just saying. If okay, he okay, wants okay, those I'm problems, I'm a pastor. I'm just, just saying. I'm just saying. I need to learn how to. I mean, I can. I can write poetry. I need. I'll write it for you. All I need is a. I, you I know, saying no, Diddy, wax right that now. ass for free ninety nine. I can, like I got I you. Can, I can write poetry. <laughs> I, I, actually, I actually have poetry that has been published. I'm decent at poetry. Okay, Good I shit. can do that part. I just need a freaking beat. <laughs> So, hey, be, a beat here, and some lessons. Got you there too. Yes. Just tell me the vibe and energy you're going for, and I got yeah. you. Look, well, you know, I, I think it's. 
I, I think it's like I, I am impressed with like hip hop artists and rappers. I don't care if I like their music or not. It like it is not easy. Like people think like, you know, and I had this actually issue with the like Ben Shapiro for saying that like rapping was just like speaking yeah. rhythmically because like it when it comes down to delivery and how you develop your flows and the cadences that like it a lot of times like um like I said we said it with the uh, Ren's diss to to Dada, right? Like yes. He didn't even need a beat. Hmm. Like he was the beat itself. Like he was the way he was spitting was he so said that shit didn't work there wasn't beat. even <laughs> yeah, like you didn't have time for that, right? But like sometimes that's cool when like it Don't I don't shade. think people realize how hard it is to have a good delivery with rap. Like, and if you don't have the delivery, like it's not, it's not, it's not gonna be as good, right? Like you don't have the flows, you don't have the cadence. Ooh. It is not beatboxing, like that it's so hard people think but, you're oh, just talking I, and it's not i guarantee like i want anybody to oh. pull up some karaoke on freaking youtube and i want you to sit there and rap to it and see how dumb you sound no okay? like yeah it's oh, did y'all say that ren responded oh, no. to homie and actually just like blew that shit off like move around with that shit did i catch well, that right it was yes actually, no beat the, he bodied it okay yeah no but the, the thing is is that that this is probably one of my favorites it's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so funny. Is that why this lame him. motherfucker keeps doing this shit for Cloud? Because he got a response one time and now he thinks he's gonna yeah, get some get, get more, yeah. Well, you you and you should you should hear the way it ended. You should really, really do that one. You that should do that. that. You, you need yeah. to hear it. It's so good. <laughs> when you have time. Isn't that what MGK did before his career died? <laughs> hey, but Tom Sorry, did and MG who? Lethal, his, his career didn't die. <laughs> That was a turnoff for me from the I jump, though. When I looked down and I just saw this after did just back to back to back, I'm like, okay, you're clout chasing now. It's like, yeah. at th at th especially at this point now, after Drake and Kim, me and my boy was just talking about this. With Now that Drake and Kendrick have done what they've done, you really can't drop a diss track for like, what was that, a year? Yeah, you said about a year? Unless you really well, yeah. yeah, unless it's like yeah. real serious beef. Like what Tom and what whatever the fuck homie's name exactly. is, oh, the That's fine true. guy, the okay. funny vine yeah. guy. Uh, because that's where <laughs> I searched from. Like even before the music shit, he was the funny Vine guy to me. Um, yeah. but like that—that's real. That's not oh, we're just creates that. Like, that's real. I don't freaking like you. Anybody else? If I hear a diss song, I'm like, oh, you're just trying to clout chase and yeah. So you go back things, to Vine. It's not popping like that. And um, that's a yeah, long time ago. try again. I but do dude. love my diss tracks. Oh, I love them so much. <laughs> we need to hear some of them. Av, come on. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I like, I, I find that like, I don't, I, well, I, I don't like the clout chasing and stuff, but like we were, I was watching the, um, oh, I started watching it and I, I wanted to save it for a reaction, but it was Mad Child and Delight. And it was part of the, um, like the actual rap battles, like the Oh, like yeah, URL like, and stuff like, like that. Yeah. 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 Like, and not, um, and it like no beats and stuff like that. And like, that was them really like, that to me that was the sport the sport that they're all talking about and they're like tom yeah. tom doesn't he can't be a real mc because he don't do diss battles he doesn't respond but like like that's not what tom does right like everybody right. has their lane that's not that's not what he does right and that's bullshit like, logic well it is and they say yeah, you can't be an MC without the culture but it's like to me the, it's this jake Bull don't do them anymore either <laughs> <laughs> yeah right well it's just the the, well, the fake beef and stuff like half the song like uh what drake push-ups he didn't even write that song but the like thing four, is three or four other people wrote that song like to me that's fake that's not fake i want to see that shit where like there's no beat and they're rhythmically going at each other coming like doing that off the top of their head not some recorded track or whatever to me that's not it, it's fun like what ren did was fun as hell but like to me if you're going to talk about being a sport and people being in it that's the sport you need to be I completely yeah. agree. I love it. I'm sorry. See, I love hearing this from not just white people, but women as well. This is fucking and, amazing. Y'all are, but, yeah. Oh, I am taking, hey, I, I am taking this back to the spots, y'all. I am putting the culture <laughs> on like, hey, y'all, these motherfuckers know what's up. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, we about to, oh, we're changing the game. We bringing motherfuckers together with this one. Yeah. For sure. Just for jump sure. in, D. Just jump in. Uh, D. Jump I in, don't want, I, I, I want to go back to Archie's original question and I want to answer that question. Yeah as a white woman who grew up in a small town in Iowa. Now, I was pretty much white. And, you know, you guys were all talking about how you grew up in Los Angeles and, you know, outside big cities. And, and so you were exposed to rap. 
I was not, ex I, I, I was raised in the seventies and the eighties and I was not exposed to, like uh, Amy said, you know, there was Dre or not Dre, I'm sorry, Tupac right, right. Uh, yeah, and Dre the other, the other ones that you named. I'm sorry. I'm oh, I said Tupac and uh, Dre and Eminem and stuff like okay. that. Okay. Okay. Well, in Iowa, we just weren't exposed to it. And that is why I moved when my boys were young, I moved them out of the state of Iowa and I moved them to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, because I wanted them to have the diversity. I wanted them to have the exposure to different cultures and, and different people. And when I started my channel, it was not, I was not going to do the reactions. And I have to say, I have to think how to say this. Sorry. No, you're good. I, I don't feel comfortable reacting to a rap video that is from a black person because as a white woman <laughs> born and raised in Iowa I don't feel I can relate and I don't feel I have the right mm -hmm. to react to what they're saying because I can't relate to it does that make sense no, no, it definitely yeah. Oh, yeah. it does okay. it does, but I still think you do because yeah. not, uh, because I because I think like you're like those like me personally, if I was scrolling, that that that's what brought me to your channel, period. Like even when like even even the like the music that you had that you have covered, that you have covered, it's like, okay, you don't look like you would be listening to this. Like, <laughs> like see, like the, yeah. it, I, they, it, so it just it completely blows my mind. I'm saying yeah. I'm like, okay, I figured she would be like maybe some maybe country. some country. Barbara uh, Streisand, maybe. Oh no, 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 um, country. Um, Mike Underwood. McDonald or something, maybe. Oh yeah, Carrie um, Underwood. Simon yeah. and Garber. Like, I don't know. I'm just like, and I'm not being funny. I'm just <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, I'm not even being I'm just saying, like, with like the, the fact Strait that it looks me. one way and then you get something yeah. else, that's appealing. So yes. if I was to sit down and to see you doing freaking Keep Your Heads Ringing by Dr. Dre or something like that, I'd yes. be like, oh, this is song. Be Can I, I'll be honest with you. Oh, my God. I will, be, your heads ringing. I, I will be straight up honest with you. When I'm looking for reactions to Tom's videos, I don't look for the white person. I look for the black people. I want to see yeah. what they have to say about his yeah. movie. That Especially is when it's controversial. Or liberals. Yeah. That's how I found Amy. Or liberals. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly how I found Amy. Exactly. Like, exactly. Like, <laughs> hey, and, 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 you know, I found all y'all through Amy. Because y'all know the <laughs> other point of view already. So you're getting the other side. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And, well, and can I be honest? Real quick. Well, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, hey, D, real quick. Um, don't feel like that you don't have the right to react to it because music is music. That's and chaotic. if you like, you don't have to yeah. relate exactly to what they're saying to enjoy a sound, a beat, yeah, any of those true. things. You don't have to, you don't, and don't, I, I wouldn't feel awkward about um, appreciating something else that may, you may not actually um, directly relate to because if, if anything it could give you like even we try to talk about tom's music a conversation open your mind or think about mm -hmm. something else you know it, it just brings us i think it brings together so don't mm -hmm. let it divide like so many other people want it to do don't do right. that like if you well, have a, if you want to go listen to some tupac and check it out on your channel Girl, check out that Tupac, and I'll be there to watch that video. Girl, trust me. I sure oh, as hell will. So well, did you just say what I was like, trying to oh. say? But smarter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that was good. No, nah, you, you broke that shit down. Cool that was freaking perfect. I was, well oh, said. I, I agree say, with all of that. I, I will say, say. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna tell you that you can't learn to enjoy other artists if you're not. Because for us, I mean, I know for myself when we started this, this is what I wanted to do was learn about other artists that I would have never listened yeah. to before mm -hmm. because then I'd get a be better take on if I really do like something because maybe, okay, like I'll take Ren, for example. I seen him popping up everywhere and I was sitting there going, nah, I ain't listening to that shit. Yeah, I know. And then, yeah. and, but then when we did, like now you can ask the girls, he's like my number one, my number two or three. Like I can't decide between him and Ronnie oh, Rocky. <laughs> see? Good shit. Yeah. Uh, well, so, uh, yeah what I love ahead. about music in general is that you can have two people on two different sides of a conversation mm -hmm. and the music actually brings them together. Like Amy. Tom. Yes. Like like Tom. Yes, Amy. Tom, Tom's music yeah. is incredible. I don't agree with it, 
all of it. I, I like a lot of it, but I don't agree with a lot of it, but it's really good music. And it's a great Ain't conversation. That. It's a great conversation. It, it Tell is. I'm going to appreciate yeah. that so much. It like, is. He, and music he gives you the heartbeat of the culture. Yeah. Well, like you can really I, know a, a group of people and a culture based on the lyrics and the, and the, the music they're yeah. putting out. So you Thanks. really get to know. And I loved yeah. knowing the heartbeat of a culture. Yeah. And I brought all you guys to the dark side. So, well, you it's know, just, I was, I was we bring true. you to our dark side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I Amy, to be man. fair, you did buy a pair of kitty ears. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Well, come that's because they're cute. <laughs> they are cute, aren't they? Yeah. Y'all are welcome. <laughs> they are well, cute. Yeah. It's funny what uh, wow. what Archie was saying too, because that it is true. Like I I originally found reaction videos. Um, like well like initially i found reaction videos somebody reacted to tom's and and then reaction videos started like when i found tom a reaction video started piling in and one of my favorite ones still today was these two teenage boys and they were they were black men like you were saying but they were reacting to dolly parton jolene and i was like the fuck what the right i was like yeah, oh, they, were yeah. Two, they were just teenage boys. They couldn't have been more than like nineteen, maybe maybe twenty. They oh, were that's young. Right, but like you know, they don't know nothing about that though. Hell but no. that's <laughs> hell no. But I was like, but they Black were Pegasus really enjoying it. Dolly Parton. <laughs> yeah, no, it. But I love that. I love, like you said, I love seeing someone from a different culture react to something that yeah. I would not think they would absolutely like, and I love seeing them enjoy it. And right. like Black Pegasus has been doing that a lot. He's gone down this kind of like country oldies rabbit hole that he had no idea. He just you know, because he's he's a rapper, like a rapper rapper, you know, and he's really just diving into different music and really enjoying it. And I'm enjoying watching the journey. See, and I love that. If there was a it's camera up when I freaking like if I was watching when like on Family Guy when they cut to Conway <laughs> Twitty just going in there singing, if there was a camera up for my reaction during those, oh, that would have been freaking <laughs> gold. Yeah. Because again, that's something why even though I listen to a lot of even though I damn it, did my voice just crack on the lot? Oh shit. <laughs> damn. Growing uh, up. Yeah. <laughs> no, like I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, no, I'm sorry. Go. That just oh made it next. No, go, we, can, we can go <laughs> to that. That just made me lose my train of thought. I'm sorry. Um, I will Man. say, I will say when, um, you know, when I, because when I started out my channel, I had no intention of doing reactions. No, no intentions. And I just kind of slipped into it. <laughs> one of my really good friends, Red, she was the one that told me, you have to react to Tom McDonald. And I was like, who in the hell is Tom McDonald? And so I did a YouTube search on him and I was like, I was looking at his oh. picture and I was <laughs> like, yeah. oh, there's a whole story there. <laughs> I love that. And, and, oh, and I, poor Tom. And I was like, I'm not going to respond to him. He's got brains and tattoos all over. <laughs> And, and, show up at my door right <laughs> and, hey i mean i'd love to have a conversation with that man and, and oh and no then, he's so freaking awesome. discord you can yeah. and, and then my next then my next thought was he's got tattoos on his eyelids didn't that hurt <laughs> he said no and, i call him a liar yeah <laughs> yeah i got but, tattoos but, bullshit but, but the very first song only- very first song that I re- that I reacted to with Tom. I- I'm kind of late to the game. You guys are all established. You guys all have a lot uh, of subscribers. You've done a lot of video reactions for Tom. I'm still kind of new to the game. So my very first reaction was Dirty Money. Ooh, and I haven't reacted to that one. Did I? That's a good one. I that's off was of a... like... The revolution? Keep going, Dee. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no. It's, I, I was just like, this... Because you guys have said, D, your show is based on honesty. And yes, it is. That has been that way since day one. As I'm listening to Tom's Dirty Money, I'm like, I love this guy. He is honest. <laughs> Everything he has said is true. You cannot, you cannot get any Tom McDonald's song and find a lie in it, except maybe the 11 inches. But shade out there like that. I love it. You hear that Tom? Oh Man, if there's no video evidence, it's not true. Yeah. Um, but you yeah, you cannot you I cannot find that. Keep that in his pants. In his oh, music, gosh. in his music, you cannot find anything that's wrong or that's a lie. You can't. 
and yeah. that's what I fell in love with with him and that's oh, why I started going down that road with with Tom um uh, yeah I mean I just it you know it opened it, it changed my perspective on a lot of things do you want to you want to you want to know how I found Tom my husband came home from work one day and he goes he was listening to TikTok and he goes dude you gotta hear this rapper and I was in there rolled my eyes because I'm a metalhead like I don't I didn't fuck with fucking hip-hop and I'm right. sitting there going, no. And he goes, no, really, you got to listen to this dude. I can't remember the exact song that he played for me. But when I heard it, my jaw hit the floor. I know. I went and I subscribed to his channel. Yeah. And I've been a fan ever since. And um, now I'm a bigger fan than he ever thought about being. Well, I remember, <laughs> I, I remember, I remember what I was going to say. My, I'm old. My trans thought had gone. Do that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, my, my sons came over for whatever reason after I had responded to the dirt, after I reacted to the dirty money video. And I was like, okay, keep in mind my sons right now, they're 20, um, 20, uh, six and 24. So they were, you know, in their early twenties. <laughs> and I was like, have you guys heard of Tom McDonald? And they were like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like I said, I'm I'm a little bit behind everybody. I'm I'm kind of bringing up the rear, but um, yeah, that was my and I, I eleven what, inches. <laughs> I know, right? Um, you know, that's the thing I love. About oh dear, Tom, is that you know his music? His music, yes, it's controversial. It is, but you know what? We all sit down and talk. What is about it? it? We all no, sit it's down needed. And talk. It's is needed. It? It's needed. It. Well, the controversy is there yet. Well, it, it's polarizing, but it's 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 it needs to be there. I don't think it is. I mean, I understand and people are triggered by it, but I don't see it as controversial. Are, oh, hey, Dean. oh no, me oh, neither. Well, me you, neither. Dean. But like, but you know, but his but when you say his name or you bring up a certain song, yeah, 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 motherfuckers yeah, yeah. are gonna I mean, get you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like. Like I mean, the, 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 the JJ's is gonna hurt. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they're gonna start, they're gonna start it's getting all sour ages. about it. And at the end of the day, I feel like I heard you, name, not gonna lie. you have to yeah. have uncomfortable what? conversations. Yeah, you have to but have he... uncomfortable conversations and conversations that may hurt your feelings or that you may be scared of to get somewhere. Because but if you know not, what? then that's when we slide into the echo chamber shit. Uh, Amy, that's you know because he. That's what start, but he starts the conversation. Example, yes. Amy and I, I was scrolling <laughs> through comment. looking for something to react to. And I found Amy's reacting to the, which, what was it? It was it the system. No, it wasn't the system. It was, uh, it was one of his machine, political ones. I think, I think it yeah. was a machine. And it was the machine. And, and her title of hers was a liberal reacts to the machine. And my <laughs> thought, my thought at three o'clock in the morning, sitting on the pot, Oh, this shit's gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out down. yeah. I'd be like, yeah. someone's gonna get triggered. Yeah, well, yeah. I put it didn't happen. Uh, yeah. I pulled my pants legs up. I said, let's fucking go. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So I was like, I am reacting to her video. And Ooh. I did, and you know what? It opened a whole new world for me. Just because Aww. I got to listen to what she was saying. And then she reacted to my reaction of her because she has a conversation with her exactly and, and i cannot tell you how many of her subs left comments on my reaction video saying you and amy have got to get together here we are and, and, and here we are and, and, yeah, and we do are. and do a podcast showing people oh. that two different sides can come together and talk and walk away still loving each other badass yeah, Badass. And, and, yeah, and look at what we Badass. and look at what look at what we have right now. Oh yeah, cool. all Badass. of us. I mean, it all comes down you to know funny? Brent because yeah. Brent told me to react to Tom's facts, and I was like, oh. I shriveled up a little bit, <laughs> got a little dry. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, I will tell you. Cool. I will tell you. It, it was a. It was a maybe, maybe, and I was like, no, you need to hit it now. Because oh, it just and I was out. not feeling good. I was yeah. sick. Uh, and, I was, I, just like, I was like, if you want to like... get this channel going, you need to react to something that's super controversial. That yeah. that we're looking at each other, going, "What the hell just happened here?" Right? Yeah. <laughs> number one on an iTunes charts. Are you kidding? I think, I think Fats Dude, that was, was our number. Ever. I think Fats was our first live, wasn't it? It might have been. I think so. 
Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, yeah, because Carol went out. No, she, it wasn't our first slide, but it was our first slide when Carol had a camera. There was there's oh, a yeah, lot. Yeah. There's a lot in Tom's music that that you know. It, it, I'm gonna talk from liberal Portland. Um, yeah. There's a there's a lot in Tom's music that liberal Portland is like no, and yeah. we're just like, what's oh, the big know. deal? <laughs> right. What's the what's the big deal? That there's yeah. not enough American flags. There's definitely American flags in a 55 and older park. There's a reason for that. You know, there's a reason <laughs> that, that older folks are proud to wear veterans hats. Every time I see a veteran, I thank them for their service. Most of them don't do that. Yeah. Real That's shit. True. No, real and, shit. And you like, know what, Ben? I just, or Brent, I just want to say, man, where the fuck did that come from? Brent. <laughs> yeah. um, Brent, I, just, I love it. There's Brent in his it. name. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for thanking the military people because my son yeah. just got home from serving Aww. for the Marines. He just got discharged two thank months ago. Thank you for the service. Nice. Yeah. So yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Service. Thank you. Thank you when you thank them. Thank you. Because, yeah. I wanted oh, to be in the I Coast Guard. I wanted to be in the Coast Guard in high school and it never happened. So yeah. Well, see, know. he had a chance when he was getting ready to be discharged from the Marines. The Coast Guard did approach him because the Marines asked him, where are you going once you're discharged? And he's like, I'm going back home to Wisconsin. Well, then the, what, the Coast Guard came in and was like, hey, there's, By a, the way. There, there, there's a really large lake next to Wisconsin. Would you like to come into the Coast Guard? He's like, no, I, I don't want But yeah. <laughs> like, no. No. All right, so we I, 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 what, I, Oh, sorry, no, go ahead. Archie, go ahead, I, just, I want to say one more thing. I'm sorry. And then I'll, I'll just shut up. I have to say, about three reactions into Tom's videos. I don't even remember which one it was. And I know this is gonna this is gonna trigger Carol. So be ready. Okay. <laughs> Carol She's called like, oh, and she's like, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. See, I can't wait to see the conservative trigger. Let's see the triggered conservative. Go. I'm ready. Hey, wait, I'm more go. conservative than than Carol is. Yeah. Actually, yeah, <laughs> no. Carol's not even that concerned. He's the least I, conservative I, of us three. I have seen Carol get on this soapbox, so I know it's coming. Oh shit! Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> I found Let me out. Go. Roll your sleeve, about up, Carol. <laughs> three about three video reactions in. I found out that Tom McDonald was Canadian. I could not believe it. He is the oh. most American <laughs> person I have ever met. <laughs> oh that's so what, funny but what was so wrong with that because like it's true he was canadian now he's american i know yeah. but People he's american canadian all the time for being a canadian i don't care that he's canadian i don't give a yeah. shit i think it's bullshit they I, try to give him so much black yes, yes, they just but, look for a reason but, and that's him. when i go that's when i go well he's more american than you fucking are exactly, exactly. ain't that some exactly. shit Exactly. That's like when people complain about, man, that Mexican guy took my job. Yeah, well, motherfucker, if you allowed a guy over here who didn't speak a lick of your fucking language and came he over here and got your damn job, job, you probably didn't need that motherfucker to begin with. What hard? <laughs> no, Tom's doing his fucking thing. Yeah. But and I just there, I just if... watched a reaction that you guys did the other day and Carol went off on the topic. No, it's true. Well, because people say people say he can't talk about american politics or he right. can't be patriotic because he's from canada i'm right. like but we're all we all immigrated yeah. here literally yeah. we're all yeah. from yeah. somewhere carol, else it's not just uh, carol's beef it's all of our beef but it's usually because it's because yeah. people want to go and that's the that's first annoying. thing they would say oh well he's from canada he shouldn't mm -hmm. be talking about american politics he fucking I mean, lives, he lives here, here. <laughs> that's the shit that's going to impact him the most he cares i don't know why that's yeah, a exactly yeah why carol like fuck right? that shit <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll throw hands. Really yeah, she like, really will. Bad. Through through the it's screen. Really bad. I'm gonna throw this goat bad. at you and show you who the fucking goat is, bitch. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. Man, yeah. I have. Man, yeah. oh, wait, I have that sheep. same goat. What do goats do? What what oh, sound does goats make? Gosh. Just know that I... our goat has udders. It can't be. <laughs> 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 I mine kind of mine. It lets yeah. everyone yeah. else know. Whoa, like, there's a sight there. Hold on. Whoa. Is it a trans goat? <laughs> it might be. It's a trans goat. It's a it's kind of, I, I don't know. Maybe. It, it looks like it might. I don't, you know, to be honest, I'm not really sure what that is. I don't know if that's baby I can tell you what it's not. It's not 11 life. inches. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is not 11 inches. 
11 inches. It is not 11 inches, but it yeah. is autographed. And I did name it uh, Sir Tim- yeah. Thomasy. Sir oh Thomasy. Oh my gosh. What an, what an utter, hangover game. utterly bad joke, Amy. Oh, utterly, yeah. utterly bad joke. Good mine mind. just looks, <laughs> mine doesn't look like utter if it's a penis. Yeah, it, it <laughs> is. It's a penis. This is it a is. larger utter. Is. Is. <laughs> this is. is a skull from the Riot video. Are those udders on its forehead? Like for real? Yeah, for real. This like, is a skull from my merch shop. <laughs> Might be a it. penis. Yeah, see? Good plug, Amy. Right. Oh, Tommy's shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, there was only like 43 of them, and I got one. Damn, nah, that's what's up. But you know what people didn't get? Our OG merch. Sucks to be them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it really does. <laughs> didn't we just get a firework that was in the shape of a skull, Amy? Oh, yeah. I know it. It's a penis. <laughs> no, Wyoming. Yeah. <laughs> Wyoming. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, Wyoming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm a sucker so, for merch, man. Really cool. It was. I can um, neither confirm nor deny how many fireworks I got from Wyoming. Lacey <laughs> said something that actually brought up the uh that actually slides into the uh the next topic here when you were talking about scrolling through YouTube and the the two kids the two kids who were watching Dolly Parton that oh, yeah. uh black people in country music or being a yes. black oh, fan yes. in country I wa- music what? i want to i want to talk about this oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I know, like i got something to say okay. yeah. Iowa's, Iowa's kicking up <laughs> yeah i love Iowa, it yes, so much Iowa's, Iowa's kicking up okay when i was growing up now keep in mind like i said i grew up in iowa my parents old country statler brothers Oak Ridge boys mm-hmm. dolly parton kenny rogers you know that whole era yeah at that time Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like at that time, the only black person in country music was Charlie Pride. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know that, yeah. was in the country. <laughs> that, yeah, I don't even know who that no, is. No, I mean, yeah. I, was I, I don't even know who that is. I, I know Ronnie know does country now. That's about as close yeah. as I get. <laughs> kind of counts. <laughs> Ronnie, that was something but, else. That's, but, that's a whole other podcast right there. That, uh, that, 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 that was my... That was my exposure to black people was Charlie Pride. That was it. And oh, wow. yeah. And I wish more. Can I say black people? Of you course. Not. Okay. You just yeah. did. I I wish, well, I don't want to offend. Oh I no, wish, not at all. It is what it is. More, what do you think? Exactly. exactly. I wish more people. I wish That's more. Uh, I wish, um, I wish <laughs> I wish more black Sorry. people would get into country. I, yeah. I mean, they, I, I, they are, they are actually yeah, Darius and I, Rucker. Rucker. I Kane love Brown. Darius Rucker. That and like, that's yeah, something that's really happening nice. a lot now. I'm yeah, wa- yes. I wanted I want to see it more from yeah like a genuine side because I feel like I feel like some are yeah. kind of like dick riding the genre because yeah. they've seen yeah. that oh, yeah. hey man my yeah. rap career yeah. ain't working right. out right. so let me go right. sing it, country or do something right. like that Beyonce. or kind of try to blend the two. That's so I've seen Harry. like a lot of <laughs> black artists try to do that. Oh yeah, okay. But there okay. are some who genuinely love that shit. Like I know yeah. people when I'm when I'm in East Texas, just like they're listening to hip hop shit, that is the yeah. same dude who I see with fucking boots on right. and a hat <laughs> who's going yeah. to help me in the fucking farm with some shit. Like it's right. just so but a lot of the times when well, I think I kind of just did it too. So this may kind of sound <laughs> hypocritical, but like if an artist comes out and they're doing hip hop for the longest time and then they switch genres. The human yeah, brain okay. automatically thinks, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> when yeah, really, yeah. like, we never know what type of, like, we're all fans of multi-different genres. Yeah. So maybe at this point in time, they just so happen to decide <laughs> to... Ju- <laughs> I'm, from I'm from Texas. Uh, I got a country tape. I'm from well, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I was photo bomb ever. So that was so funny. Okay, I was I was wondering what the hell was going on there for a second, but uh, but no, but no, but I, I but I feel but I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of genuine black artists who love country yes. music and they're yes. feeling a lot more comfortable yes. actually putting that music out there and a yeah. lot more of it. Du- a lot more of the the good See, shit needs to go out there. I don't yes. don't give don't give me the pandering country. I, I right. don't like pandering country. Don't right. give me that. Give me that right. real shit. Yeah, you guys, Ronnie. remember when? Uh, okay. 
Do you guys remember when Nelly joined Florida Georgia Line to redo? Yes, I do. I love that. Tim Inter- interesting. No, I was I was actually waiting tables at a karaoke bar when that happened. Yes. Uh, it was very okay. it's very Here's interesting. What about so when he I mean, first did that damn song with freaking Tim, Tim McGraw, McGraw and everybody was hating on his ass back in the yeah, day? Yeah, that's crazy. That. that song is yeah. so good. It no, and no, it, 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 no it, I mean, it's a yeah. it's a hit. Like that yeah. shit is yeah. a hit, but, no matter yeah. what. Ju- that's just a good song. Like that's good, good music. Song, yeah. That's well, just yeah, good music. We kept things. Well, back, if we kept things within yeah. our, our nationalities. Think of what we would right. Miss. Well, then basketball, we might well, then we basketball might well, wouldn't have Kobe, and, it wouldn't have LeBron because it was started well, by white people. We should all golf start wouldn't have Tiger Woods because it was started and by we should golf, all, you know, white people. Nobody yeah. is allowed. Rap wouldn't have title. Eminem and you know Tom McDonald and all this because it was started you know by black yeah. people. So yeah, we wouldn't, wouldn't have rock stuff, either. We miss well, and on. let's go further. We can't even. None of us can eat Mexican food. Oh, Damn. that'd be so sad. None, none of us would be Ouch, able to get, that hurts. You know, yeah. Actually, no. that uh, none actually, of us would be able to get our produce for really cheap. None of us would be able actually, to get our labor for cheap. That's yes, us, not, oh, us not being able to eat Mexican food might be good for some. You know how much shit China makes? <laughs> I love Mexican food. But I love it. So I want to it. Go fucking take the house thing. then shit it's, at, it's, at that point it's, shit like it's a have, unicorn so it's the unicorn when someone from a different oh, margaritas culture, margaritas it's a unicorn when someone from a different oh, culture margaritas. Or, <laughs> <musical> background <laughs> okay amy amy what were you saying to you I'm like, it's always the unicorn who excels in other genres of music. So again, we'd have, we wouldn't have the Eminem if we didn't have black culture and black music. We wouldn't yeah. have the Tiger Woods and, and and the shock of someone being from a different culture and nationality in those right. spheres and being able yeah. to excel in that is like, it makes hey. it even greater. It makes hey, it even you, greater. You said draws everybody you, in. But you just said unicorn. That made me think about something. I know we're not reacting, but, but, but just hear me out. Okay. Liberal love, yes, unicorns. No. <laughs> well, falling in reverse. Falling don't, in re- no, don't. I I don't react. React. No, I'm yeah. not gonna give. I'm not. I'm not gonna give that away. I'm just gonna okay. talk about the unicorn that's in it. You already probably seen that on the. On, it's on the fucking cover. Anyways, yeah, the, <laughs> but the thumbnail the horse. The, okay, so he cut the, the the unicorn. I'm just gonna say the unicorn. I'm not gonna give nothing else away. So think about that. Maybe that was his whole perspective with the unicorn and say, "Here I am coming in like a freaking unicorn to do yeah. something yeah, different." Symbolism. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Good shit. Yeah. Good shit. Because he's I a can't wait to, I'm going to need you to react to that soon so we can all talk about it because yes. that video is we need to talk. crazy. I'm and doing awesome. It, I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm doing right. it tomorrow. Oh, we have to got it on the schedule. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And let me just say this I am very nervous about reacting to it because. Oh, oh don't be. I am not. I am okay. not a falling in reverse fan and I am not a jelly roll fan. So it's oh like, oh my goodness! I can uh-huh. believe the jelly roll. We're turning you tonight. Damn, Just good. I am going to be eyeballing my heart. notifications like they owe me a hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah. shit! This tomorrow, is gonna be good. This, <laughs> this is nothing. Tomorrow, it's you gonna be starting to drink the Kool Aid. <laughs> yeah.